welcome to Dose of Dian, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. I live in Minnesota, and I think it's one of the coldest states in the whole U.S. And so I pretty much hibernate from probably October through April. And even though I stay indoors most of the time, I still get cold. So I think that's kind of common with those among us with SMA. Um, so I just thought I'd give you some of my tips to, that I use to keep warm. There's also some great articles on SMA News Today that you can check out. But I thought I'd show you a little DIY project, or in my case, H-S-E-D, let's see, D-I-F-Y. I have someone else do it for you. And um, these are microwavable corn bags. Uh, they stay warm for quite a while and um, they're great for on your feet or I have them on my lap. I know one of the first things when I come home to visit my mom, I usually have her throw some in the microwave for me. I used to be able to do it myself, but they're a little too heavy for me now, so I just have someone else toss them in the microwave for a minute um, and they get pretty warm. So what you need to make your own are squares of fabric. Um, these are about five inches square and you can, if you can't cut your own fabric, you can get these, they're called charm packs. They come coordinated fabric, um, all cut to five inch squares. Or if you want them bigger, you can cut your own. I found some scraps of fabric to use. And then all you have to do is sew around them and leave an opening to fill uh, and flip it. And also it helps to clip the corners when you're done. Just be sure not to cut your stitching, but that makes a more crisp corner when you turn it. And then when you have it, when you have it sewn, you can flip it and you have your opening here and you fill that with corn. I use field corn. We live in a rural area, so we have lots of farmers that um, have corn. So once the corn is dry, you can use that. If you don't have access to field corn, you can always uh, try and find some in the store. I think they have cracked corn where they sell bird seed. Otherwise, you can uh, experiment with different products. You can try rice. I thought using coffee beans would be kind of fun. Uh, to try it, but that would smell really good, but I don't know if they hold the heat. Here we're filling the corn bag with corn, and we like to use a measuring cup because it has a spout on it, and then you can get it right into the opening. Um, you can also make a paper funnel if you want, and that works as well. And the trick is not to overfill it because otherwise you'll have trouble sewing it shut. And there we have it. And then after you fill it, you just zip it shut with your sewing machine. A good tip is to um, not overfill it, otherwise you'll have trouble sewing it shut. And then you can also pin it um, parallel to your stitching seam, but far enough away where you won't run it over and then you just zip it shut on your sewing machine. And so these work really great. They're reusable and the heat, I would say it lasts from 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and once you're warmed up, that helps. But if you're uh, not into doing that, another product you can get are these hand warmers. Um, they're disposable and they run anywhere from, I've seen four hours, this one is seven hours, this other one says 24 hours. Um, I find that you can get them on sale after hunting season, uh, so I usually stock up on those. And then another DIY project is a lap blanket. I like fleece because it's really lightweight and anything heavier tends to kind of fall off my lap. Um, so fleece is a really good option. And with fleece you don't have to sew it, but to make it look a little more finished, uh, we 
turn the corner over and just do a little zigzag stitch around it. You can also do the no sew tie blankets uh, where you kind of cut into them and then tie two layers together. I'm not a real big fan of those because the fringe can get caught in your tires if it uh, dangles too low and that's not never very good. Um, but it is another option. And we're going to throw one of these in the microwave so you can see how easy it is to do it. It's so nice and warm and it'll stay warm for quite a while. Now just be sure uh, when you microwave it for yourself just kind of uh, make sure it's not too hot for you and if you're unable to move it around make sure that someone's around so they can move it if it feels too hot for you. And it's the same thing with those hand warmers I was talking about. You don't really want them too hot because um, otherwise they'll burn your skin. If all else fails, you can always make hot chocolate or hot apple cider. It's so nice to be able to wrap your hands around a mug even if you can't lift it up all the way. I just uh, like to hold on to the mug and drink my hot chocolate or hot apple cider. These are so nice and warm, I wish we had feel o vision Another great tip for these is to warm them up before you go to bed and then have them have someone put them on your feet when you're going to bed. Then your feet will be nice and toasty warm when you go to sleep. As you can tell, I like the tropical theme. It's kind of a mind over matter type thing. Uh, if I think of something warm and tropical, maybe I'll be a little bit warmer. But you can also get a sports related fleece if you're interested in fabric. Um, this is the Minnesota Wild. And when you make the corn bags, be sure to use 100% cotton fabric. That way it's microwavable and it won't melt or shrivel up on you. So those are my tips to keep warm. I also use a electric blanket and an, a heated mattress pad at night. Um, those are things that you probably shouldn't use if you're on your own. Uh, but I usually have somebody around when I use those type of items. So if you have any tips for me, let me know. I'm all ears. I'm always willing to try something if it means I'll be a little bit warmer. So that's all I have for you today. Have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.